Hello guys and welcome to Dark Horse FM. First of all, I'm going to say much shout out to Opera Games for suggesting this tactic for suggesting that we actually create a video or a review of this tactic. We're looking at the Cruzeros 433 or a 4141 system created by Paulo Pezzolano. Paulo Pezzolano is the current manager of Cruzeiro in Brazil. And one of the interesting facts about Cruzeiro that really made me jump on this challenge was that Cruzeiro is a club that is owned by Brazilian legend Ronaldo de Lima. So during my process of creating this tactic, I've gone on to have good results and I've gone on to have some bad results as well using this tactic. But the idea was to create a philosophy that Cruzeiro currently uses with Paulo Pezzolano in the Brazil Serie B. Currently we're in Serie B, by the way. So we have to try, we have to find a way to get promoted to Serie A. Know, to the Brazilian Serie A. So looking at the results that we have, we did get good wins in, we had just one friendly against Villanova in this Villanova NG. And we we the league just kicked off with Mineiro, Siku, Modular 1. So that's, a, those were the results that we had. We we did go on to win 5-1 in our first game of the season. So I thought that I was all, I was really doing well with the tactic as I went on to create that system. And then we did go on to have a few wins and then the game against Athletic Mineiro showed up Atletico Mineiro are one of the top sides in Brazil even in the Serie A so they absolutely slapped us 5-1 which was something I wasn't prepared for I did go on to make some changes during that game which is probably why I felt we went on to lose the game heavily if I kind of left everything the way it should have been it might not have been that bad so we did go on to bounce back with a 4-0 win and then a 6-0 win over Villanova again and we did go on to have some good results you can see um we made it as far as the semi-final of the Copa um, Campeonato Minero Siku Modulo 1. Yeah, we made it all the way to the semi-final. And then looking at the league table, we did finish in third place at the end. Atletic Minero being the big dogs in the league, we, they went on to win the league with 33 points. And then we went on, we finished 27. We did lose to America. Um, I think America are currently in our division. Oh, they are also in the Serie A. So two top sides in our division went, went on to finish first and second, and then we were third place, only losing twice to Athletic Mineiro and Athletic and, and America MG by the same time. So that's kind of how the tactic worked out for us. So far, so good. But I'm going to take you guys through the video of how I was able to create a tactic and how Paulo Pesolano's system works in real life and how it can be translated into Football Manager 2022. So currently, this is the setup that I have so far, and um. They have I have a super keeper on defend duty, but generally the tactic is a four one four one tactic, right? So they do have a different shape where the where the wingers the winger is playing in the flat line with the central midfielders. But I did that a few times and it didn't really go well. So I just realized that if more manager to some extent, maybe my players were not used to it or. Also, I don't really have the players that can play in this wide area. Even though an inside forward playing here can play as an inverted winger in the deeper area. He seems more effective when he's playing in a higher position as he's more suitable to play. So I, I went on to leave it this way. It's a flat back four, but there's an interesting party here going on the left hand side. The left back tends to tends to play a kind of overlap with the inside forward on this other side and then the ball playing defender. Ideally I did start with the ball playing defender, but then I realized the central defenders were more effective for the general style of play, which I'm going to explain later on in the video. The central defender here has been asked to stay wider. That's because it's going to be a relationship between the central defender, the inside forward that is higher up, and then the full back on this other side. So it, it kind of creates a four because the central midfielder on attack duty is also involved in that play. So you're kind of like creating an over an overload in this region here. So you notice that in the team instruction, we have all I did ask us to play on the overlap on the left and on the right hand side for most of the tactics. That the way it is, I'm going to show you in the second. Looking at tactic two here, you can see that the overlap is set in this. This is like the second version of the tactic that I had before, before I created this third stripped down version that allows us to be a bit more free. So there's that relationship on the left hand side where the inside forward cuts inside, creates space for the fullback to get off, to get over here and try and get on the overlap. The central attacking midfielder is also linking up with the inside forward on this other side, and then the central defender on the left hand side is going to slip a bit wider, you know creating that space for the deep line playmaker to also kind of drop deep and since the high we have a higher defensive line there's a close relationship also between the central defenders and the defensive midfield or the deep line playmaker in this region so it kind of creates a blanket in here and then the players kind of overload the left hand side paolo pezzolano's cruzero tends to play with a very controlling style of play 
they do have a high possession rate. <laughs> they are obsessed with holding on to the ball, but they don't hold on to the ball for just holding on to the ball for the sake of it. They do have a very vertical or to some extent a vertical approach to their ball possession so as much as they do have high number of possession they do move the ball around very quickly from back to front and they tend to pass the ball quickly so this is the very first version that i had with complete wing backs on attack but then i did change it complete wing backs in the third version to standard fullback and fullback on attack because i noticed they were a bit more defensive the issue with the complete wing back that i had was that we had a lot of players in the opposition's half and then the opposition kept on defending and then we couldn't just break them down to find a way to score a goal. So, like I was speaking about the possession, it's a much higher tempo for the team's ball movement or ball for the tempo, sorry. And then the passing directness is much shorter because the objective is to try and control the control possession as much as possible but move the ball from back to front or be a bit more have a bit more attacking intent while you're trying to move the ball around yourself but keep moving it forward and this is like using a much higher line um, using a much higher tempo aids my players not just to pass the ball sideways between each other with that much shorter passing instruction but while you have the much shorter passing you can move the ball back with the higher tempo much higher tempo you tend to move the ball forward most of the time it gives us you can also look at that in the team stats and then you can see from the copper minero sikub that although America did have 61% possession, these are the two best teams in the land, like I mentioned, Cruzeiro were there in third with 60% possession on average. So as much as I wanted to dominate the entire league, this is the Copa, this, is, this league is probably a cup competition, I have to admit. So we're going to go into the league game where we did have 60% possession in the Mineiro Sikub. And then looking at our league competition, if I can just get there. Looking at the league competition so far in the Brasilia, Brazil Serie B, we're currently sitting in third place. We've lost three times already. Not something I'm going to really brag about. But looking at the team stats, we can see that the highest amount of possession here, when we are within all the teams that are in our region, in the Serie B, we do have 63% highest amount of possession, average possession in the league. The most goals is scored by Vasco da Gama. That's because we conceded a lot when losing our three games. But we had the highest amount of goals, kind of goals scored so far. Vasco does have 25 and then Cruzeiro are right up there with 21 as well. So looking at the most points per game, we still have just the two. And then Vasco has 2.18. But it's still, a lot of, it's still a lot of the season to go because we played only 11 times. And then I think we've met a few of the teams that are supposed Let's look at the teams that we lost to. We did lose some matches that we weren't supposed to even lose. Nautico, Opi, Opi Rio. Operario and Villanova. Villanova that we used to beat. Crazy, crazy. So the first version of the tactic that I started with, I started with a positive mentality while asking the team to play with a higher, very high tempo and then much shorter passing. We've been asked to, or I did ask the team to focus on the left because I want to, in, I want to, I want that relationship between the centre back, the left back, the inside forward and then the central midfielder that is on attack duty. Ideally, I could have used a metal on attack, but then I realized that my player that my player here is not really good with his left foot, so I opted for a central midfielder on attack. For experimental purposes, because this is purely an experimental objective, I would still use the metal if I do have if I do sign better players in that position. I also instructed that they pass into space, but then I realized that towards the course of the season, this was actually helping us lose possession. It wasn't helping us control the game as much as we wanted to, so I did take it off. And then you see in the last version of the tactic here that the pass into space instruction hasn't been taken, so we're not using that instruction anymore. So that's basically how it is. And then I did start with a deep line forward. I kind of like the deep line forward in Football Manager 2022. I've used it a lot this year, and then as much as, um, as opposed to other years, because this player tends to drop deep, and then I realized as much as I was using the deep line forward and creating that space, um, it got to a point it wasn't really working as well, or I wanted a different style of play. So I opted for a Trequatista, even though he's less defensive, he's a bit more, in, he can find him in regions around this area here, where he can move all around. And then even into the number 10 role, he kind of is everywhere. So it's a lot more confusing for the AI to try and deal with that player. That's why I opted for a Trequatista in this particular third version of the tactic they were creating. In defensive midfield, I know I started with a half back because I did have my complete wing backs bombing all the way all, all the way forward. And then knowing that the defensive midfielder here is going to kind of drop deep in between the space left by the central defenders when they split out wide, when the left one split out wide, um, I realized to some extent that um, 
that kind of left us with the back three, which is something we want, but we were still struggling to break teams down. So I realized that the halfback, even though he may be good in defense, I needed somebody that could create chances from deeper areas. So I opted for a deep line playmaker on supported team. Also, at some point, I did use the ball winning midfielder on defense because I realized that in Brazil, this is a role that is highly favored in this part of the in this part of the world. When the Brazilian leagues, you will find good ball winning midfield ball winning midfielders in this region, and then most of your player attributes kind of fit into that role. So I did opt for using the ball winning midfielder sometimes on defend duty in that defensive midfielder role. In the final version of the tactic, you will see that I'm using the deep line playmaker again. The current version that we're using now, to some extent, I'm still going to jump into the ball winning midfielder on defend. And also, like I mentioned with the Metala here playing on this left hand side, I could use a Metala. And then, if I'm using a ball playing defender or a deep line playmaker here, sorry, I can, when you have a box to box midfielder here, it's taking more risks and then closing down more. Most of these other instructions were not included in the research that I did, so you can't really tell as much as to, or there's a lot of, there's a blank canvas for you to try and design the tactic to fit your system. Or to transfer the system that Paulo Pezzolano is playing with Brazil. So I opted for a player that can move a lot, get into the box and then help out defensively while creating chances for the team. And ideally with the box to box midfielder is one of the best at doing that job. And then I also included the take more risk instruction, but with the box to box midfielder I can include or I can I can ask this guy to play as a ball winning midfielder on support duty while using a deep line playmaker also on support duty in the defensive midfield role. So there's a lot of drama going on in brazil and currently this is where we are in the league we did go on to lose our last two not our last two games okay we won our last game against cuiaba in the copa copa de brazil that's the second leg against cuiaba we did win our game three goals to one but so far so good that's how our season has been going trying to recreate the paulo bezolano system in cruzeiro our objective is to get back into the brazil Serie A because cruzeiro are supposed to belong in the Serie A. we don't really have a lot of money looking at our finances there is transfer budget of twelve thousand. that is close to nothing and we have to we have to push for promotion without signing any top players so we have to make Ronaldo de Lima proud using this particular system and we're not going to force so many things looking at the club vision so far we're not doing that badly be my and they haven't told us whether we should play attacking possession defensive so I kind of like this setup here at Cruzeiro not bad it's something I enjoy doing and trying to recreate a real life tactic it's not as straightforward as it looks so I try to um it's interesting trying to put my own sense of creativity on the Paulo Pezzolano tactic, but the one thing that I know that I can't, that are instructions that are set in stone for the Paulo Pezzolano tactic is the seam shape, which is like a 4 1 4 1. The football manager kind of calls it the 4 3 3, defensive midfielder wide, but the shorter passing with very high tempo. Those are instructions that will not really change. And then, being that we want to control the game, we've also asked the team to dribble less. And be more disciplined so don't do anything rash don't do anything stupid so that's basically those are basically instructions that we're going to leave in stone and then in order for us to facilitate those instructions we want to win the ball high up the pitch as much as possible pressing your position very intensely and trying to force those mistakes by even getting stuck in if possible because we can actually do that and then we have a good number of players in the Brazilian league so my squad can be as big as 40 players so I do have the ability to press with much more often trigger press and then get stuck in because even if my players do get injured there's always somebody or even two players that are ready to jump in there and then it's good for much and much sharpness and tactical familiarity as well so that's basically how i'm going about my cruzeiro challenge with brazil trying to recreate the paulo pezzolano tactic i go on to do this in dark horse fm once in a while after I'm, and while i'm also testing out tactics and op tactics in football manager 2022 if you like this kind of content you can follow me you can hit the subscribe button and also hit the like and turn on the notifications bell so you can get notified when new videos like this come out i'll catch you guys in the next video